Hello everybody. It's been a long time since I've made a video. Long time. Uh, welcome back to In the Garage. We've got a, uh, we got a 2007, I believe, Pontiac Solstice. And uh, what we did, I'll spin you around real quick. Uh, what we did was repaint the hood and the deck lid. And uh, uh, we're in the middle of getting them back on. Uh, ran into something that I ain't never run into before. Um, on the Solstice, I'll spin you around. It's a uh, convertible top. This is the convertible top, and the, these are buttress that go that latch in back here. Um, and through a cable system that goes in through here and comes out on each side. I had to take those out to get the deck lid off of it. Um, but uh, while I was lining up the uh, while I was lining up the deck lid, I wasn't paying attention. I, I assumed that that these two cables, um, I assumed that they unlatched the hood along with these you know when the buttresses popped up the deck lid opened i thought the the mechanism was all one you know buttress and trunk release and uh inadvertently shut the hood and assuming that i could just pop it right back open through these uh latches so shut the hood and looked around and saw that the hood the or deck lid i mean um needed to be adjusted so i went to open the trunk lid back up and it wouldn't open come to find out it has a latch right here the center latch this is what latches the trunk and this basically just latches the buttresses for the um convertible top so then i was in a jam because i had removed the cables from the deck lid so i thought that's when I figured out that these latches do not release the trunk. They just release the convertible top. So I'm thinking to myself, how in the world am I going to get in this trunk? So I, I was, I opened up the door and sort of looking around in here, having to remove panels or, or I had no idea. I've never worked on one of these before. Um, but I could tell by moving the deck lid I could tell that it was released on this side and released on the far side over there and it was pivoting in the middle so I knew it was latched in the middle <clears throat> so I had to figure out I didn't think I'd be able to get it open I thought I would have to take off inner panels behind the seats to get to that latch because in my mind the cables are released so there was like even an emergency you know, I had taken the cables off, so I, I'm thinking, how in the world am I going to get this open? And come to find out, uh, after doing some research and, and calling around, um, basically what you have to do is you have to take off the uh, driver's side rear wheel and then pull this inner fender partially out. <clears throat> and I don't know if you can see in here, but... Uh, right here is supposed to be a vent um and if you could see you could tell somebody had already done some wiring uh he had a reverse camera and all that stuff put on there so i'm sure they used uh that as the uh access to run that wiring but uh somebody had already removed the vent but if you reach through this hole and push the carpet in, um, then there is this release handle that's supposed to be on this side of the on this side of the carpet, but somebody had already pushed this in. So I'll show you the release handle right there. And you just reach through this hole and pull that and Voila, the trunk lid opens. So what I'll do is I'll shut the trunk and then I'll show you. 
All right, so you can see that the trunk lid is shut. There is no way to get it open. So what we'll do is we'll reach right through this hole, get a hold of that handle, and release the trunk. And I thought that's a pretty handy little piece of information there. So I thought I'd make a video on it. Uh, these are not uh, real uh, numerous cars. I believe they only made, I think, four years or six years of it. Um, so, you know, not a whole lot of people are working on them, but this one happened to end up in my garage. So, uh, just want to let you guys know that if you do, if you are working on one of these things and you do inadvertently shut the hood, um, it's a little bit of a job, but, uh, take the driver's side rear tire off, pull the inner fender loose, pull that vent out, and you'll have to push hard on the carpet to force that handle back through the inner carpet so that you can get a hold of it because remember like i said the handle is typically sticking to the inside of the trunk on the inside of the trunk side of the carpet so you'll have to force that handle through the carpet so that you can uh, get a hold of it and pull it and the truth is more than likely what will happen while you're trying to force that handle through the carpet you will you'll pull the handle just doing that and the trunk will pop up. But uh, just wanted to shoot a video and show you guys that. Uh, uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one.